feet drop. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm Laurie. I'm Hannah. <laughs> We're Journey with the Gingers. And mm. I was talking about a lyric from one of the songs that was scrapped from Hamilton. She was also talking about the the guy in Bridgerton. How, oh, Jesus! How he's the, the, the new Luke Newton. The, this the, is the a new Bridgerton. Well, the Bridgerton is coming out. The new episode's coming out in May. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. I've been all in that man. Just like <laughs> he he was he he he's he was in his twenties when he started, like yeah. mid twenties, and now he's thirty one. And I'm just like, how do you have a glow up in thirty one? What are y'all watching right now? What are y'all watching on TV and things like that? Put it in the chat because I I love to hear what people find, on, especially on streaming, because William and I stream everything now. We don't have cable, and um, I like to know what I'm missing out on because. I want to make sure I get the good stuff. I watch the good stuff. But um, <laughs> I was telling her that I don't know if y'all heard about on Netflix. There's a, everybody's talking about this show called Baby Reindeer. And it has nothing to do with Christmas or reindeer. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's reindeer. <laughs> um, I haven't watched it yet, but people are saying it's really good. And I've been watching The Jinx on Max about Bill Durst. Billy Durst, Bill Durst, William Durst. Um, it's true crime kind of thing. It's good. Crazy, but good. What are you watching? Are you watching anything? Mm-mm. No. <laughs> I really don't watch things on streaming. The last thing I really watched on streaming was like some Korean drama situation that you won't know anything about. So it's not. Uh, uh, you don't watch a lot of TV then. Because you don't have cable. No, I don't. <laughs> Is the musician Bill Durst? No. Okay. No, he's from a very rich family um, that owned a lot of real estate in Manhattan. But it, they, they're they crazy. <laughs> and he's crazy. But, but you know, know, he's evil and crazy. But, yeah, it's quite interesting. It's called The Jinx, and it's on Max. <laughs> that's all I'm watching. I'm watching American Idol, but that's about it. <laughs> I just like to watch Something like that. <laughs> so tell us something good. Do y'all have some good news? Tell us, find, find one good thing that happened this week for you and tell us in the chat. We'd love to hear all, all the good things. Um, but if you do have something to celebrate, put it in the chat. We'd love to celebrate with you. If you're getting, if you're a creator and you're getting close to a milestone, um, please put that in the chat. Maybe we can support you or figure out how to get you some towards that milestone. Um, if you have a trip, put that uh, coming up soon. I know that we have... A lot of people that put their countdowns. If you have a countdown, what are you doing? I'm cold. <laughs> she's cold. My feet are cold. I saw this blanket going like this. I was like, what is she doing? It all up. It was cold. <laughs> but, um, I have I have a trip. Good for you. <laughs> I have a suitcase getting packed. I'll be going on my annual girls trip with cruise with my mom and my next sister week. and her friend on next week. On next week, yep. So that means we will not be live next week. Are you, unless you and your dad want to go live? I have a. Oh, you have a work a, event, don't you? Yes, it's a trivia event. You, you're so excited because you like trivia, and we've done so much trivia, you might know the hands. It might be something we've done Maybe. before. Unless it's like specific history or science, I'm not good at it. You're not good at science. You're it's, pretty good at history, though. It's, I'm talking like specific history. So if they're like, what is the battle that turns the Revolutionary War around? I'll be like, I don't know, cow pins? I don't know. <laughs> so we are playing oh, trivia York, tonight. Yorktown. <laughs> it's Yorktown. Uh, uh, so we are playing trivia tonight. And Hannah was responsible for the trivia this week. So you want to tell everybody what we're doing? Book trivia. Book trivia. And it's books that people like. It's like classic literature. Yeah, it's like books you should know from high school, college kind of things. Mm -hmm. um, but um, speaking of books, I finished a book today. Good for you. I actually didn't take long to read that one. Um, it's called Malibu Rising. I highly recommend it. I bought it for her. It was so good. Um, it's um, by Taylor Jenkins Reid. And it's so good that I'm going to read the next one called Carrie Soto is Back. Which I also bought for her. Which she bought for me. Um, I'm going to start it at home, but then I'll take it with me on vacation. You know, you I got you a big, I got you a big uh, book sleeve that fits. I know. I would take, I would take the j dust jacket off. The, uh, but anyway, I'm taking um, that. And I'm also going to take the housemaid. Which I heard. And you have a smaller book I know. sleeve for I have the a, Hannah gave me book sleeves and put my books in. So I'm I hope that I have enough time to read two books because I hope those people let me relax. 
sister. Her sister says she's going to be on the slot machine. I am. My sister will be on the, the slot machine. Time, so the problem she... is that we have, the problem for her is that we have three days in a row that imports. So, <laughs> saying there will be no slot machines during that time. <laughs> she thinks there will be, though. Oh, bless her. Um, so, or also, um, I didn't answer. Huh? I didn't answer. What are you reading, Hannah? Sorry. You just skipped over I know. I skipped over the poor baby. She just skipped. What, have you have you finished something? Or are you starting something? I'm in the middle. 50% Here. mark. What are you reading? A magic steeped in poison. So you finished the other thing. No, it's called a magic steeped. No, you had something but that you've been saying you were reading before. What? Yeah, you just started that. Yeah, on Libby. And you were like, you only made it at 50%? Yeah, that, that's the one. But I thought you were, never mind. I thought you were reading something a couple weeks ago. That was different than that. No. Okay. Is it about the vampire book? You were reading something else. Anyway. Is it the vampire book? Because I hate those characters so much. Oh, so you they, stopped. They make me so mad. You stopped. I hate the character, not the main character, but I hate, like, the people around her, and they make me so mad that I have to take breaks. So when you stop and the I'm, book, will you go back to it? I remember everything that happens in the book. I know. Have what, you ever stopped a book and just didn't read it? DNF it? Yeah. Do not finish. Uh, <laughs> is that the yeah. book talk? <laughs> yeah. DNF a book. Do not finish. Uh, yes, uh, I have. Um... I really, there's some books I should have done that to you because they were just terrible. But you power through them. I power through them. Yeah, I had this thing, this pho- this, not a phobia, but I had this thing that I have to finish them. Because there was one book I was about to DNF. It was the only book <laughs> I've read this year. That's really bad. I was going to DNF it. Uh huh. But I was like, well, maybe there's some redeeming qualities to it. And when I tell you the last two pages or something <laughs> was the redeeming quality that made it go from a two star to a four star, I was like, <laughs> Okay, I'm glad I'm here. I redeemed. So you're reading a, what'd you say? Something steeped in poison. Magic. Magic steeped in poison. It's basically, it's going to sound stupid, but it's a really cool concept. It's just basically about like the art of tea masters. In, and they don't call it China. They call it Dashi, but like it's basically China um, in a magical way. And they like have different people hone different magic when they pour tea to others and it can like heal people or it can make it the person tell the truth and things like that it's really interesting we read to- totally different genres <laughs> you think you think <laughs> she reads about people getting married and having nasty divorces and i read about magic tea <laughs> she did enough twilight oh i i, I did me, the series i did finish one of them and then i did the series let so. me say that i've had a lot of people that they like read okay so like i feel like for people like me who the series became really big like in middle school for us we were like oh my gosh we gotta read it we gotta read it we gotta read it and it was like what the feeling made us feel like oh so special because we're reading Bella's point of view but mm-hmm. it's like two people you know fawning after her but when when you go back and read it as an adult you're like man this book is bad <laughs> you loved it so much you named your dog Bella yeah <laughs> a lot of dogs are named Bella because of Twilight <laughs> yeah so we are um, one. I guess the good news for us is that we are getting close to two thousand subscribers. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know how far away we are. I think about eighteen last I checked. But you know, it goes up and down. Um, so I'm I'm hoping that by the time we come back, because we won't be live next week, but by the time we come back, we'll have a celebration. That would be nice. Ooh. Hopefully, did, we'll did cross you our hear fingers. That? Uh, yes, Hannah's cricket her neck. So, but we do want to thank you all for your support because, of course, we wouldn't be there without you all. So, thank you for that. And um, we will celebrate when we get there. All right. So, I do have a countdown. Guess what I'm doing tomorrow? Did you, you know what I'm doing tomorrow? I'm going to a Prince tribute concert. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Why'd you say, oh, thank God? I have to go. Not because of Prince. Oh, it's it's the whole. Not they're doing Prince. all the Purple Rain. It's called Purple Rain the tribute concert. So I'm excited about it. It's my sister and, and mm-hmm. William and I. Mm-hmm. And then in three days, I'll be on the Carnival Sunshine. 
William will stay home with puppies and entertain Hannah. And Hannah will entertain William. Hey, don't do that on camera. <laughs> there was a hair in my ear. <laughs> it wasn't like a hair coming out of my ear. There was like a dog hair that got in my ear. And also in June, guess what I'm taking? I'm taking Mimi and her friend Ellie to go see Casey and the Sunshine Band. And then we're going to see Lee News. And then the same day we're seeing that, William and Hannah are going to go that, that for matinee to see Les Mis. We're going um, nighttime. They're going during the day. And then in June, Hannah and I go on to New York. And we're going on the NCL Joy. And we had a, had a small world moment where a friend put on her Facebook account down for a cruise. And this, um, she's just a friend I knew from when I worked um, for the school system. But she put her countdown on for her, her and her husband for the NCL Joy. And it was the same amount of days that I have my countdown. I was like, hey, are you going on this sailing? And she's like, yeah. So they're going. She reached out to me last night to ask what, where we're staying as far as a hotel. But I thought that that's kind of cool when you somebody just randomly is going on a cruise with you that you didn't know. We've had that happen on the Sunshine before. And um, we had a fall break group cruise in 172 days, and I just signed up somebody else for that cruise. I'm excited. Do you want to talk about it? Yeah, I we, can put yeah, it up and take yeah. it back down. And we just always like to mention it. Um, it is on the Carnival Sunshine, October 7th through 12th. Um, we've got a, a great group already going. Um, if y'all like to join us, there's a link down in the description. Oh, huh? You. Me. William and I. It's William and I on this cruise. I'm not there. Hannah's not going. But this is a group cruise. Um, we just have a good, a great group going, actually. But we signed up somebody else today. I was excited about that. It's her first cruise. So mm. that's really fun. And um, so they're going to be going. This group will be going. And we're all going to Princess Keys, which I have never been to. Mm. Which is a private island. Didn't, didn't they catch on fire? Yes. Uh, William and I were supposed to go into um, before Coco Roro happened. And um, it was like 2020 before Coco Roro. Yeah. Uh, we were supposed to go. And on the sun. I don't know if sunshine or the other one. Anyway. Two days before Princess Keys got on fire. And we ended up having to go to Freeport instead. Oh, it just sounds so excited. Yeah. Well, I have Freeport on this this cruise too. But I'm yeah. still. Sounds so excited. I'm not getting off at Freeport. I just. I'm. I know some people like it, but I just don't. But I'm going to, on this cr upcoming cruise, I'm going to be in the Serenity area that day. Hopefully with the chair. Reading a book. But reading a book. <laughs> anyway, the Carnival Sunshine is a five-day cruise, October 7th through 12th. Um, I will, I can easily look to see if what's the best rate I can find for you. Just complete the questionnaire. Giving you a quote is, you know, of course, no obligation. If you're just curious about how much it would cost. Fill out the little form, and I will send that quote to you. If you fill out the form while I'm on vacation, I'll send it when I get back. <laughs> so, so I'm not taking my laptop on this trip. I'm not really vlogging this trip. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do a room tour, but my, that's about it. Mm -hmm. I've done. If you want to see anything about the Carnival Sunshine, we got a few videos out there. <laughs> Just a few. <laughs> okay, let's say hello to everybody. That's a lot of talking. You did talk a lot. I did. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hello, Miss Meg. Good one. I'm a little rich by her own name. Hey, Keith. Good to see you. Look at me. Keith's live stream in June. I think it's June. 1,006 days or sooner until his next Walt Disney World trip. 2,833 days or sooner until his next Universal Orlando trip, and 53 days until his 62nd birthday. Yay. <laughs> hey, Bruce and Cindy. Great to see you. Howdy. And there's Paul. We got lots of howdies. Paul says, howdy, howdy, howdy. Good to see you, Paul. What? There's a thing in Toy Story where... Andy puts Woody in the toy box for the first time because Woody's used to being like the favorite toy mm -hmm. and he goes in the toy box and he opens the toy box when Andy leaves and he's like where is my hat who has my hat and the shark comes out and he's like howdy 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 I'm Woody <laughs> and then Woody he goes on he's got a hood and then Woody goes uh huh uh-huh. <laughs> Give that to me. Can you text that? So every time someone says howdy, 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 I, I think of that. So howdy, howdy, howdy. I'm Woody. One of our favorite Canadians. One of our favorite Canadians. Hello, Nick. Glad to be here with you. Glad to have you. Mm -hmm. And there's Angela. Speaking of our group cruisers, she'll be with us on the, William and I, on the Carnival Sunshine. And there's Miss Mary Ellen Dillon. Hello. Good to see you, Mary Ellen. 
Mary, Mary Ellen says she doesn't stream so much. My mom, I'm trying to get my mom to stream more because I, there's so much out there that I think she would enjoy, but she likes cable a lot better. Monday is my recertification training in May 1st, his first year, 81 days until his birthday trip to Vegas, 183 days until the Sun Princess. That's the new fancy Princess Cruise Line. McKenna is your favorite. I like Keiko. No, read it. Read it. Oh, I'm sorry. McKenna uh, is her friend's niece. Uh, she's great, though, but they're all so good this year. This year is crazy. These people, I'm like, how are, have they not been famous already? But yeah, McKenna is very talented. And, um, but I, I, I'm kind of leaning towards Keiko right now. He's just quirky and a little bit different. He's very Broadway like in his tone. Who do we say he sound like? Ben Platt. Ben Platt, yeah. Sounds like Ben Platt. When Ben Platt's going to be at the Fox Theater? Today's your anniversary. Well, happy anniversary, Bruce and Cindy. How many years? Meg has 20 days until Little Rock. Very fun. Fun, fun, fun. She has, Mary Ellen has six days to the Carnival Forenza <laughs> back to back. That sounds like fun. I, will, I really want to get on one of the Italian style ships for Carnival. Meg says, yay books for the trivia. The trivia is going to be really good. Hannah did a great job on this trivia. Y'all, I hope y'all stick around for it and, and enjoy it. Um, and then Angela says she's going to D.C. in 18 days on an honor flight as a garden. Oh, that is so nice. That is such a neat thing. I wish William's, we put it, we, dad, I don't think William's dad would enjoy it, though. But I, I think the honor flight would have been great for him. Um, when they take the veterans to um, Arlington, I think. Mm. Yeah. Hello, Captain Billy J. Travels. The real captain is here. <laughs> Good to see you, Billy J. And there's a small world. I had that happen on our Pride cruise. Two of my aunts were on, and I found out the day before. Isn't that funny? Um, Hannah and I were when we were on the Sunshine with, um, gosh, Greg, Greg and Felicia. I was not <laughs> And Lisa, Greg and Felicia, and Lisa um, Humphreys. We um, were just walking, through, I think, the casino mm -hmm. and saw Hannah's PE teacher from elementary school. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, look. I think that's your, your PE teacher. <laughs> Hello, Kurt. Good to see you from CME Traveling. Uh, they want to know if the person that booked today is someone that they would know. Or is it someone that you know personally? I didn't know her. She knows. Um, um, Y'all wouldn't. Who asked that? Angela? Yes. No. Angela, it's not somebody in the creator community or that's um, kind of been in our chats. She actually has um, two ladies that are friends of hers that I worked with um, years ago. And she's going to go because they're going. She wanted to try the cruise because um, they're trying the cruise for the first time. So I'm excited about that. CME traveling. So they switched. Or Marsha must be on this one. Hey there, Laurie and Hannah. Our Kurt switched over. <laughs> All right. <we're> <laughs> All right. Um, we do want to rec recognize our moderators. I think tonight we have in the chat, we have Miss Meg from Megs and C's. Um, thank you, Meg. As always, we know how much we appreciate you. But if you don't, please know that we do. <laughs> we really appreciate you. So um, I, want sh I wanted to start off by showing you some travel memes. I've been collecting these as I've kind of gone along. And I thought, well, this will be fun. Instead of doing travel news. But, you know, um, Kurt and Marsha did an interesting um, poll that they weren't on their live stream on CME Traveling. And there was this TikTok. Of, this has nothing to do with memes. But this TikTok of um, this girl. You know how on Carnival they had the liters bottles of water? Mm. And it has, like, the, the price tag on it. Mm. And they're sitting on the shelf or mm -hmm. sitting on the like, She would drink it. And then go to the sink and fill it up and put the tag back. Uh uh, on. no. Uh, that's so disgusting. Ew. I know. And she thought it was cute, like the TikTok in the TikTok. She did. She that. get in trouble? I don't know. I mean, I don't understand. Like those bottles are expensive, but that's really that's, gross. That's really disgusting. Like um, they probably leave that there. I know. Uh uh. But you know, I never use the water in the room, and now I'm never going to use the water in the room. You know, because if you're, if you like are like gold and above, you can get a free 
I think it's gold and above. You can get a free liter from the bar, you know. Mm. And we order water to the room, but I'm like, I've never thought, I never even bought the, the water off the that's in the room, but I'm thinking I'll never go touch it now. Uh oh. I mean, that's just, ugh. Uh oh. But anyway, thank you, Kurt, for sharing that. <laughs> so, no, that was just, ugh. <laughs> So this is just some cute travel memes that I've seen on the internet and on Facebook and on Instagram. And I thought I would just share it with y'all. Um, this is at the airport and it says, I'm sorry, sir. It looks like your luggage is too heavy for the plane. You'll have to remove some items and put them in your carry on, which is going on the same plane. <laughs> it's so true that <laughs> I just remember when we went to San Antonio, Texas Uh huh. with FBLA, FBLA. Uh -huh. and because I was a um, state officer at that time mm -hmm. for South Carolina FBLA. I had to have so many outfits. Well, FBLA is Future Business Leaders of America. Yeah. I had to have so many outfits. Mm -hmm. So, and then I had to have outfits for the ceremony, for the presentation, mm -hmm. everything. So, I had like seven pairs of heels. <laughs> yes, you had to change them up. Yeah, I had to change. <laughs> and... I remember them just <laughs> going to the airport and they're like, this is 55 pounds. And I had to put my shoes in <laughs> Rachel Branham's suitcase and Nicole's suitcase. Uh -huh. And then we just like kept like putting it back on. <laughs> like, okay, here we go. But it's so funny when they tell you that you have to lighten it and you're like pulling stuff out and put it in your carry-on and you're like, this goes on the same plane. Yeah, some, some, people, no some people put like their jackets on their bodies and take it through TSA. Uh huh. And I saw, uh, and once again, a TikTok where a girl was trying to not have to um, check a piece of luggage. And so, you know, some people carry a pillow on. Oh, yeah, I've seen it. It's actually kind of smart. Though. Yeah, stuffs the pillowcase with their clothes. Yeah. <laughs> he just carries it on like it's like it's a pillow. pillow. <laughs> you can actually sleep on it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and all our clothes are in there. <laughs> yeah, I know. That was actually kind of smart. Eric's here. Hey, Eric. Hey, Eric. Uh, yeah. No. <laughs> Do not get me started with carry on backs as <laughs> the flight attendant. This is the flight attendant. We might hit a nerve. <laughs> Because here's the thing, because they'll they'll come on there with their 70 pound carry on, <laughs> yeah. and then they'll look at the flight attendant and be like, "I can't lift it up." I, can you help me? It's too heavy for me yeah. to lift. And it's <laughs> and I think you're not. Are you obligated? You're not obligated to lift those, are you? I've seen. I saw. A I saw a TikTok where like the flight attendant was acting it out, and uh -huh. she was like. If you if it's too heavy for you, what makes it you think <laughs> right. that it's not too heavy for me? Exactly. That's a good she point. goes, she goes, she was like, Would you like to check your bag? Because if not, neither of us are getting it up there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When I travel with Mimi, there's always some like muscular man that always like, let me get that for you, ma'am. <laughs> like Mimi just looked beautiful. That looked good for you. Not not flight attendants, but men that are on the flight. Mary Ellen Dillon said that pillow is a carry on. <laughs> yes it is. <laughs> oh we aren't paid at boarding and two oh one we aren't paid at boarding and two we don't have to do it because they get paid when, when the, doors the doors close. close. Yeah when the I've watched enough TikToks from flight attendants too. Um, but yeah, they get paid when the doors close on the plane is when their pay time starts. So there's a difference between like, yeah, Meg, I feel that, you know, <laughs> you just got to pray that there's, I pray that there's nobody around me. So I don't accidentally hit them when I'm like swinging it. Because yeah. I'm so short. Because <laughs> we're so short. <laughs> but here, but there's a difference between you being short and can't get it up there and you being capable and yeah. Yeah, it's too heavy. Yeah. Are you just over overdoing it? Yeah. Oh, so you're on vacation? The last 500 posts told me nothing about That's it. you. <laughs> That's you. 100% you. You. Not that bad. Twice a day. That's okay. Mom, if you want to follow our cruise coming up, <laughs> follow us on Instagram at Journey with the Gingers. <laughs> I do not like taking pictures, <laughs> but we have, but we're, so, we are a channel, Hannah. Don't you think we should put something on social media? Yeah. Huh? I'm not about your personal social media, Laurie. <laughs> I put more on journeys with genders when I'm traveling, though. Uh, Sometimes if it's a picture of like William and I together, yeah, I'm going to put it on there. You hear the, uh, this? We don't take many pictures together, so <laughs> <laughs> especially if I get a good one, it's going on there. 
<laughs> he knows it. He knows it. <laughs> um, Kurt and Marshall like put pictures on there too. <laughs> now, y'all know if y'all get a good picture of yourself, you're gonna put it on social media. If especially with your significant other, because you know how many pictures it takes to get one that I like of me and William together. A lot. So, Angela, it, it just depends on the airline. Um, some airlines, make they weigh you as a person. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, with your carry-ons. Uh, some airlines know. do that. Uh, Who knows that? It's, it's like airlines in Asia. Oh, no, no, no. Like, especially, I think, the Philippines. I guess I won't be going to Asia. <laughs> uh, but sometimes they weigh you. Uh, but like delta to my knowledge they all the only restrictions they have are size yeah for carry-ons like height width you know yeah. all that fun stuff it wasn't weight so you can honestly if you could fit as much stuff as you can in your carry-on it'd be 55 pounds they're not gonna charge you yeah you know, i'm so much happier if i can go through the airport and not have to have a carry-on like just i mean not have a rolling carry-on if i could just have a backpack like a light backpack. Are you burping so too? Yeah. <laughs> we just uh, always say, yeah. <laughs> but international flights have weight limit on carry ons. Oh, okay. Mary Ellen should know. She travels all the time. Y'all, when I went to England, that was a struggle. I had a backpack, <laughs> I had a carry on and a big suitcase, and I had my pillow. <laughs> it was a struggle to get across and get where you wanted to go. There we go. That looks like three carry ons to me, but that's none of my business. <laughs> That's like Mimi. Mimi she got her purse. She, she Mimi got, carries a big old purse. A I'm purse. Like, yeah. I like if I have a purse, it's like a little tiny little around my body kind of, you know, purse. She got her purse. She got her duffel bag and then she got a rolling <laughs> carry on. She got a breathing machine, like her CPAP bag. That's what, uh, that's what she's got. She got a rolling carry on, her CPAP bag, and her no, she, big old purse. She got that duffel too. That one time she had a duffel. Yes. Yeah, she knows better than that than me because <laughs> because i ain't carrying it for her. when no one takes the middle seat all right all right all right, all right, all right. right. <laughs> have you seen the picture going around where a couple it was so awkward uh, <laughs> uh, they they didn't have anybody on their middle seat uh -huh. so they decided to lay out and cuddle Oh no! On, on their three seats, and oh, take my. off their shoes, and their feet were in the aisle. Oh no, 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 no! <laughs> Cuddle. I don't do feet either. Cuddle. <laughs> have you seen the one? Is it which one they they had to fill in? Was it Southwest or something? Yep. And the guy has like a fa like a puppet looking. <laughs> Yeah, like what? he's got somebody in the third seat, and it's not. It just is Ann with a hat and a jacket on. <laughs> Trying to make people think that he has it somebody in the middle seat. <laughs> oh my. Okay. This right here. Oh no. No, 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 no. <laughs> I should <laughs> I have developed a hatred for waiting for my bags and hoping it comes out, but mm -hmm. I carry on with the backpack. Like I understand. Uh-huh. I just have but here's my problem. If I take two pairs of shoes. <laughs> At least. That's going to fill up my carry-on. Easily. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. We're cuddling on the plate. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no PDA and no feet. <laughs> but um, I know on Delta, we get the notification like your bag is on the plane. And when I get that, I go, shoo. <laughs> and then when you get off the plane, it's like, your bag is going to the baggage claim. Yay! Yay! Yes. Yes. <laughs> I have the fear, especially if you're flying in the night before the cruise and they lose your bag. Didn't you get your bag lost once? Coming home. Oh. And they and Delta they just I mean whoever, whoever delivered it to the front door. And then there was one porch. time my dad forgot the bag at the cruise terminal. <laughs> yeah, William forgot a bag. I I remember that it was in Florida, wasn't it? It was we were with Elizabeth and it was out of Jacksonville. Yeah. And I remember seeing this bag and looking at it in, in the cruise terminal when we pick it up <coughs> and I go Dad, is that one of our bags? And he goes, no, 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 I got everything. <laughs> and then we get home, and Mom's like, where's my makeup? He, he left one of the, of course, the one that has my makeup, you know, in the at the terminal. And I was like, and he swore he had all the bags. I, I mean, like, I probably should have guessed. I mean, checked everything, but I was just being tr trusting of William. But we no. were also taking two cars. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah. We had two guitars, didn't we? Yeah. We had so many people. We had Mimi, too. <laughs> she so, probably thought it was in the other car. It was not. So, yeah, we paid, like, and it really, for the price, I think we ended up paying, like, $78 shipping and then ship it to us, which it was, you know. It was your curling hire. It didn't sound too bad at the time. Like, whatever. Get home. <laughs> <laughs> I, and I was, when we got home and you were like where's my and I was like I knew it was that bad <laughs> and I was like I knew it <laughs> I bring an extra pair of shoes I stuff them with socks and underwear I gotta make use of all the space this is true That's a good, good traveling tip <laughs> I got so many shoes for this trip if you oh, look no. like your passport picture you probably need a trip <laughs> Because yep. you look tired, <laughs> I guess. No, whoever it, I don't think it was my last passport picture. It's the one before it. When you were younger, yeah. whoever let me use heavy eyeliner on my bottom lid. Did <laughs> you look like? I look like no. Raccoon? Yes, <laughs> I'm like, what the heck is that? Because <laughs> that's not me right now. My picture for my passport doesn't look bad, but my military ID picture <laughs> it's whoa, in black and white. It's grainy black and it looks like I need a vacation. It's bad. <laughs> <laughs> my my uh, my driver's license is good. Look at look at Nick P's countdown. Oh, uh, mm, 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 mm. Nick P, that that trip just sunk. It zoomed so fast. It just looked like the other day you were like in the three hundreds. It's twenty three days away. <laughs> Meg, this is your sister. <laughs> she is your sister. <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but somehow she is your sister. <laughs> you got AED. Because <laughs> I have it, and I think that's so. My um, have you unpacked from Helen? Yeah, I did actually. You good job. <laughs> you know why? Because house come to your house. <laughs> Not because I was stuck at home with. Okay, okay, right, right. <laughs> you need something to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have a great passport picture. Well, Angela, you'll have to share with us and let's see it. That's awesome. Angela, you have blue eyes, don't you? Angela has, has the prettiest, prettiest, prettiest eyes. eyes. First time I met her, when I met her in hell, I was like, you have the prettiest eyes. <laughs> yeah. She really does. Okay, I can see how that, like, it will come yeah. out really well. Yeah. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, that was it. Yes. Are you ready for some book trivia, guys? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we, we remember. <laughs> Hannah does take uh, days here to he is. <laughs> Darrell. Does Darrell take long to unpack? Or do you, is Darrell a quick unpacker? Like, once when he gets home, like, within the 24 hours, he's unpacked and put everything. Ask him, does he put his laundry away? Oh, are you telling on Jarrell? He's telling on me. <laughs> Jarrell, do you put your laundry away? And to find a way. Like, does he, like, fold it and put it in a basket and leave the basket somewhere? Like that, yeah. Or is it unfolded laundry in a basket? It's the first one. So he folds it, but he just doesn't put it away. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Comic books? <laughs> well, there, there's, there's, a, there's a couple that you'll get. About a day or two. Okay. Huh? He's saying a day. What's comic book? Book oh, trivia. Oh, okay. <laughs> if you don't need the suitcase or stuff, why not leave it packed? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> All right. I think also, if you live by yourself, you probably... It's like it's not bothering me. It's not yeah, bothering it's, anybody so else. you have an extra place to put it. It's not yeah. in your way, I, I guess. I mean, I'm just fine. My thing is I, I'm a control freak and I like everything put away. And I like everything back in its place in my house. OCD. So, all right. I also like if, when I if I'm getting ready to go or do something the next day, I want to be able to know where all my stuff is back where it was, and I'm gonna have to dig it up. So Hello, guys. cruise nut. Hello, cruise nut. Stay Good with us. You. Play some trivia. Play some book trivia. I promise it's not it's not hard. Uh, no, there's I, there's like one question that's hard. I was impressed. Okay, if you pay attention in school. <laughs> all right. <laughs> First question. What is the best-selling book in the world? <laughs> I don't think we need any trip, any um, hints for that one. Ehehe. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all, why, why everybody's answering? William loves having this one at the house, especially if I'm gone and I'll be gone next week. 
So <laughs> how many meals? I tell Hannah gave him. You're gone for like what, six nights. Seven nights? Yeah, six nights. I'm gone six nights. He looked at me and said, You say you're coming over for five nights to eat dinner. I said, He wants to cook for her. I was like, No, oh, I love you so much. So she gave him a limit of four. I was like, I want to go home, you know, after work sometimes. So I, I ordered my groceries through Walmart and he, he went to go pick them up. Hold on, pause. Okay, sorry. It is the Bible. It is the Bible. The Bible. <laughs> With five billion copies. Five billion? Billion. Good. Mm -hmm. It's the baby. I like your little background. George Orwell wrote what <laughs> wrote oh God. George Orwell wrote about mass surveillance and Big Brother in what novel? <laughs> That's funny. Basic instruction before leaving Earth. That's good. <laughs> this is true. Hello, Holly Hills. Hey, Holly. Play some to trivia. You. You're never late for us. Okay, Stop. resume. Come when you can. <laughs> reserve your... Resume. Reserve. Resume. Oh, what was I talking about? Grocery. Oh, so I said, all right, now that you've planned these four meals with Hannah, I said, I need your grocery list because I order groceries through Walmart and he goes to pick... He went to pick them up today. And so I'm ordering groceries last night. Y'all, his grocery list was $200. I don't ever spend $200 on groceries for he and I, but he's cooking big for this one. I don't know why. Yeah, he is. You know, he's got to cook big for her. So then he says, I said, I need two bottles of wine because we can carry wine onto the ship on Sunday. Oh, that's why you went to Aldi. And I said, don't go to Aldi and spend a lot because I like the wine at Aldi. I said, don't go to Aldi and spend a lot of money because I just got apparently $200 worth of groceries today for your dinners how oh, he was an aldi he called me he called hannah he was an aldi y'all for an hour <laughs> he says he only spent eight fifty dollars but i have a hard time believing that did he purchase it in cash i said yeah, probably <laughs> so you can how much he spent but you will be eating well this coming week hannah <laughs> he's trying to fatten hannah like, that sounds like Hi, Amanda. Welcome to the YouTube channel. Well, thank you for being here, Amanda. And thank you for being new to joining us. We appreciate it. All right. The book is 1984. <laughs> we are playing book trivia. It's well-known books. It's not like obscure books. So, And then we'll give away my age. But I was in school in 1984. And um, everybody, we all had to read this book. It mm -hmm. was but it was actually not bad. Mom used to say to me all the time, because I was in marching band, and somebody, um, this one high school, their marching band show was mm -hmm. called They're Always Watching. Mm -hmm. And Mom, every like <laughs> time after that, she would go, they're always watching. <laughs> Big Brother's always watching. Brother's watching you. <laughs> you know, that's why they call it Big Brother, the show. Yes, I know. <laughs> But this is this is the hardest question. Going back, hold on. Going back to what you about. Can like, I get a read? Can yeah, I go ahead this question? Okay, me. this is the hardest question. Call me Ishmael is the first line in what famous book? Call me Ishmael is me Ishmael. is the first line in what famous book? Thank you. But you know, we, we were talking about this at dinner. What fourth fourth sight? Is that the word? That he had. Yeah, he wrote that book in 1940-something. Yeah, that he had. Because you think about now, it, we're everywhere. there's cameras everywhere. Yeah. If somebody commits a crime, it's usually going to be on camera. Mm -hmm. Or if they did something bad, their car driving down the road is going to be picked up on somebody's camera. In this neighborhood that we live in, there's people. a lot of people have cameras on their houses. And if something happens, like one year, the house, the, the car, all the cars were like egged. And they were like, everybody just pulled out the camera and they found the girl, like, showed the pictures to the girls. I mean, like, where they came it from. Was girls that did it. Um, showed it to the police, like, the next day. And they were called. I mean, they are big brothers. Everybody's watching you now. They're always watching. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I gotta scroll up. More people got this than I thought. Only Kathy got this right at work. Hmm. But Kathy was, is like, was a teacher. <laughs> It's Moby Dick. I actually knew that one. Moby Dick. But I think I knew it from another trivia. Moby Dick. Moby Dick. 
I only I only chose questions that I already knew the answers to. Does that make sense? Mm hmm Moby Dick. Moby Dick. She, uh, Amanda says that she wants to go on a carnival cruise for her real birthday this weekend. She wants to. Well, if you ever need somebody to help you book a cruise, I can do it. There's, I'm a travel agent, Amanda. There's one of our Bostonian <laughs> friends. Hello, Ryan. Good Hello. to see you. <laughs> BDF said Moby Dick. Moby Richard. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. <laughs> uh, Ryan, I feel like you would be good at this. It's book trivia. <laughs> If y'all do not get this, <laughs> I have said this on our live stream before. I bet Eric will get it. What, Eric, Eric, so with us, get what it. NFL team's mascot is inspired by one of <laughs> Edgar Allan Poe's famous works? I think you even told why. I told them why. <laughs> on the live stream. There's, I told two, two the, uh, the second hardest question, the Stephen King question, I have said it <laughs> on the live stream at least twice. <laughs> I've said this one too. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> there he is. But um, I was asking one of our advisors at work the questions. I like gauge the, my like difficulty level of my questions by okay. asking my coworkers because if nobody gets it, I take the question away. So that's how I do it. Mm -hmm. And I asked one of our advisors, and he was like, "I don't know." I said, "Think of the most gothic mascot possible." And he goes. Ravens. Like, Thank you. <laughs> so should just tell the answer. <laughs> yeah, everybody got it. It's the Ravens. the Ravens. And Hannah, why is it the Baltimore Ravens? Because Edgar Allan Poe spent the later years of his life in Baltimore. He passed away in Baltimore. I think he's buried in Baltimore. Yep. It's a good reason. To call it Ravens. Baltimore Ravens. And it was actually the team was looking for a mascot and it was fan submissions. That were sent in, and they chose off of like popularity, mm -hmm. and somebody sent in the Ravens. That's that's a pretty unique way to Ravens come up with a name. Ravens, Baltimore Ravens. Oh, that's so cute. Their mascot is named Poe. Aww, cute. <laughs> Thank Poe. you, Poe. <laughs> la la, Poe. <laughs> Tinky winky. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord. Uh, oh. <laughs> y'all know what she's talking about. What Dr. Seuss was thinking? <laughs> this is on the same. I bet you Meg knows what you're talking about. <laughs> the what Dr. Seuss book has the character Sam I am. <laughs> La La Po and Tinky Winky. Tinky Winky. Gypsy, Gypsy. La La. You used to watch it. Po. <laughs> You loved it. Telly Tubby. You had a favorite one. Telly Tubbies. <laughs> That's your generation. <laughs> was mine Poe? Poe huh? po was the red one. Was it? I thought you liked the yellow one for some reason. I don't remember which one. Is it Lala? Was it Lala? I don't know. I don't remember. That would be half to something. That could be trivia. <laughs> which one was the purple one? <laughs> Tinky Winky. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord <coughs> Hannah was raised with Barney, Arthur and Teletubbies <laughs> looking up your names mine was Romper Room Tinky Winky, <laughs> Dipsy La La was yellow yeah, La La Po <laughs> Teletubbies <laughs> Meg says Arthur rocked. Oh, he did. That's oh, and it. Pee Pee and Jay Otter. Um, there was another one that was called Reading Between the Lions, and it taught you the your basics of reading, like sounding out like oh. words and stuff. That's good. Yeah. How'd you get some education? Green. It did. <laughs> oh, I had a teacher for my mom. <laughs> Green eggs and ham. Sam, I am. Sam, I am. <laughs> Green eggs and the yam. Green eggs and the yam. <laughs> Who's Winky? Tinky Winky. Tinky Winky. Okay. okay, Arthur had the best theme song. I sing that all the time to Jarrell. You what remember? Is what is it, Hannah? Every day when they're walking down the street, there's somebody that you meet. And, it, and I say, hey, hey, it's a wonderful kind of day. Is that how you wake up in the morning? Relax. No, hey, absolutely. Hey. <laughs> no, I wake up going, ugh. <laughs> Snooze. <laughs> the only times I hit snooze was bad. <laughs> Reading Rainbow was awesome. Birth. No, 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 no,
Oh, uh, okay. yeah, Reading Rainbows. Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's character, Professor James Moriarty, is the arch nemesis to what famous fictional character? There are two hints in there. One is the author, one is the arch nemesis of this character. <laughs> Thank you. Butterflies in the sky. I can go twice as high. When I when I taught Sing school, up. they loved Reading Rainbow, and I loved when I could wa- let them watch it because that'd give me a break. <laughs> So you, if y'all are really good, you get to watch it. It's like, hey, God, I have a break for okay. a little bit. You want to hear you a fun? Me off. Are you done? <laughs> yes, I'm done. Okay. So you want to hear a fun fact about this? Oh, sure. Okay. I included Professor James Moriarty, so I can tell this fun fact. Okay. So when I was in pageants, I one of the songs that I sang for talent was called McCavity, and it's from the musical Cats. McCavity is like ma and then cavity like in your tooth like ma cavity um he was the bad cat in the play cats now keep in mind cats is based off of a book of like short story slash poems by t.s Eliot, i think mm-hmm. their, name, their name is mm-hmm. um and McCavity's name came from moriarty they wanted the villain to have a similar name as moriarty so she came up with McCavity. Huh. That's fun fact. Fun fact. I just wanted to In say In case that. anybody ever asks you a fun fact. Fun fact. All right. It is. It is. It is. It is. Sherlock Holmes. Very good, y'all. Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, a lot of people got it. Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes. Like what Billy J says he watched in school. Rating Rainbow and Bob Ross. Bob Ross. Who else likes Bob Ross? Uh, that would be Jarrell Jones. Jarrell Jones loves, loves Bob Ross. Thanks. Mary Shelley was 18, 18 <laughs> years old when she helped create the genre of the monster slash horror novel by writing what book? Keep in mind, 18. 18. <laughs> 18. <laughs> You know, like, Mozart composed his, like, first symphony when he was, like, 14 or 16, and then they, like, she was 18 when she wrote her first, like, world-renowned novel and created a whole genre of books. Mm -hmm. Like, what were we doing at 18? (laughs) In college. Yeah. (laughs) Learn how to be a teacher. Or you learn how to be a girl. (laughs) A girl? (laughs) What you say? I don't know, I was saying, like, girl. <laughs> I, I thought I was going to be a news reporter, then I realized I didn't like him. I mean, Hannah thought she was going to be on TV. I didn't want, I didn't think I was. I just, I thought I would be like a journalist. And then I realized they are very opinionated. Now. <laughs> you know, if you could change what you went to school for, would you have changed it? No, not really, but. I mean, if I were to change anything, my father would not have liked it because it would have been like an international teacher, you know, and I wouldn't be living here. I can't see you teaching children. I don't think you have patience for that. They're more respectful in Japan than they are here. (laughs) I would have taught them in Japan. (laughs) Mm -mm Mm-mm-mm. Frankenstein. <laughs> Meg says, who doesn't like Bob Ross? Frankenstein. Now, does Drill, like, does he, like, paint along with Bob Ross? No. No, he just, just likes to watch his techniques and stuff. Yeah. Fra- what's he say? Frankenstein. 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 What? <laughs> what do you say? Did a painting of Bob, of Bob Ross's, Steve Ross's, I don't know. Frankenstein. <laughs> J.R.R. Tolkien wrote the Lord of the Rings series. What is the name of the prequel to the series? Yeah. Me, William and I watched a movie about the life of J.R.R. Tolkien. It was, I don't remember what it was called, though, but we watched it together. That's what he was talking about tonight. He watched a movie about him. Um, dad, 
He was having, he was having a moment about this. Question. He was like, "Rings of Power." I was like, <laughs> "The book." <laughs> he was thinking about the movies. No, he... it was it's a show. It's uh, a show. It's a show. And I was like, "The book." <laughs> he didn't get it. What you're asking? Because <laughs> we, because he didn't realize this was. I guess he didn't put it that it was book trivia. Because it kept on saying the prequel, the prequel, the prequel. <laughs> it was like, but the, the prequel is <laughs> so rings of powers before everything. <laughs> He was very serious about the discussion, too. I was like, no. <laughs> no, it's not what I meant. What am I going to say? You know, th- The Lord of the Rings, I think it's a trilogy. But it's honestly just one big book. Mm-hmm. But financially, it, they couldn't justify making it all one big book at the beginning. Mm-hmm. So they like, separated it into three because they thought that could... They it would it would be a lower like if they lost money on it it would be lower cost mm-hmm. you know. Do, 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 do. Meg said they're some of her favorite books. Let me tell you, William Reese is very passionate about it. <laughs> they're a, for on Vice talking about making the Thor three Lord of the Rings movies is pretty good. Huh. Yeah. Well, okay. He put Leva like that. Oh. BDF said he was in a painting class in his hometown, and Steve Ross, Bob Ross's son, was the guest instructor one day. Oh, that's so cool. That's really cool. I have a nice leather set of the books. Nice. All right. I I saw the answers. I'm going to to... Yeah, they answered those pretty quickly. The Hobbit. Yep. I told you, I didn't make it too hard. (laughs) I promise. (laughs) Now, the next question may be hard. I'm sorry. <laughs> but we have talked about it on this channel. Okay. We have... <laughs> Laurie. That okay you just heard was shut up. That is... Translation is She's shut very up. <laughs> that okay is actually translated from Laurie talk is shut up. <laughs> you say okay. Okay. <laughs> it's the southern way. Stephen King's nightmare that he experienced during his stay at the Stanley Hotel in Estes Park, Colorado, okay, inspired him to write what novel? Would you stay at that hotel? Yes, 100%. Well, would Jarrell <laughs> stay at that hotel? Absolutely not. He would sleep on the floor <laughs> in, a, like, of another place. Can you still stay at the hotel? Yes, you can. But you, can, you can't stay at the room that he, they stayed at in the movie because it doesn't exist. I gotcha. Um, it's like it was two. I forget which one it is. It's like it was two thirty seven or two seventeen in the movie, or two two thirty seven. But in real life, it was the other way around. If it was if it was two seventeen in the book, it was two thirty seven in real life, or vice versa. One of the two. <laughs> Will. Together we travel. Hello, Will. Good to see you. Good to see you now. That's. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> In the book. I've seen some cool investigations on Miss Stanley. Mm-hmm. So basically what happened was he had a dream that there was something chasing his son. Like He was staying at the hotel with his, I think, his daughter and their child, I think. And they were the only, this is a big hotel, and they were the only people staying in the hotel. Yeah, like, <laughs> like there wasn't like any other guests. Not that they rented out the whole place, but mm-hmm. he was just there. Just wasn't anybody else. And so he had a terrible nightmare, and he had read something about another author writing about your dreams and turning it into a book. Mm-hmm. And so he was. And then when he woke up with that nightmare, it was Stephen King. And it was mm-hmm. scary. He was like, well, "Let me write this book." I hope all his books aren't based on dreams. <laughs> King bunked in room 217. So was it 237 in, in the movie? In 217 in real life? Is that? Let's see. Keith said that he met a real giant one time. It was a guy seven, over seven feet tall. There was dad. Remember at uh, Disney World, we were riding Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, and dad saw the man who was seven foot four, and he was like, Can you ride these rides? <laughs> <laughs> How many questions you that man got? Yeah, how tall are you? I know. The man just needs a shirt. The tall said, I'm so, so tall. It is 
The Shining. Johnny. Here's Johnny. Shining. Never could watch the whole movie, though. The Shining. Anybody ever seen the movie One Flew Over the Cookie's Nest? That's a crazy movie, too. This made me think. The Shining. Crazy. Yes, Room 237. So, yeah, that okay. was it. 237 in the movie, 217 in real life. Okay, I think this is our last question. Yes. In Nathaniel Hawthorne's novel, The Scarlet Letter, what letter does the main character, Hester Prynne, have to wear for the rest of her life? <laughs> I remember you did a project on this. this oh, and I got 100 on that project. Do I still have that project? <laughs> yes, I do. It's on my bookshelf. I'm very proud of that project. I, was I, that college or high school? That was sophomore year Miss Redding's literature. How about that? Yeah, I had and I had to turn that in a week early because we were because it was due the week of Thanksgiving, like that Tuesday, and I was going to co ed. Mm -hmm. So I had to turn it in a week early because we were like leaving earlier in yeah, the week, I'm probably leaving that Friday. Yeah, and so I was like, Here you go. <laughs> and I and she, she gave it back to me the next day, and it was at 100. I was like, I turned this in early and I got 100. <laughs> It says a lot for Haley to turn in some early. And I kept it. I kept it with the score on it. It's in my, <laughs> someone wanted me to sell them the project. I said, absolutely oh, no. not. Oh, no. turn in themselves. Yeah. No. I said, do you not think she won't recognize this? <laughs> so it was magnificent. I was the. I think I was the only one to get 100 on the project, too. And I turned it in early. You're, you're very proud of it. Basically, okay. I had to create an album based off of the book. Almost like a scrapbook. Yeah. Of. And so I had to pick songs and explain, like, songs that already existed and explain what that had to do with the uh, book. It was like I chose, uh, there was, like, a Spanish song about a medicine doctor because there's, like, an apothecary or something in the book. And then I chose, like, Umbrella by Rihanna. I did a good job on that. <laughs> Needless to say. I need to watch The Shining again because it's been a while. I've never watched it. I just know a lot about the making of it. Did you know it took days for that elevator scene where blood? It took them like six or nine days to clean up all the blood that floods the hallway. And they had to do it three times. It is an A. And Angela said a red A actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I put a red A there. It's a red A. It's an A. <laughs> it's an A for adultery. <laughs> Very good, Hannah. See? See? You didn't get, get on it. It's a scarlet A. Yes, I know. Yes. <laughs> I hit the scarlet letter. Yeah. And the A is red in the scarlet letter. Yep. Hello, Lisa. Hey, Lisa. Good to see you. But see, 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 I can make, I can make good trivia. <laughs> I also made this last night. <laughs> Lisa, I'm going on Sunshine on Sunday. You want to go with me? <laughs> want to join us? <laughs> do, do, do. So what do you got to say? I wonder how many Lisa, how many more times are you going on the Sunshine for at least Charleston? I, I think, I bet. I'm guessing. How many I'm guessing? I'm guessing. I know she's on the very last sailing. Four. Four? I say three. That was fun. <laughs> Wasn't Blaine just on the sunshine? Blaine is on the sunshine right now. When Blaine gets off on Sunday, I'm getting on. Blaine did a good, a really good one. It was an eight day, and it. I know they're going to um, Puerto Rico, which is one place I need to take William back to. Mm -hmm. But um, and we're doing a six day. Yeah, we're doing a six day, mm -hmm. and I'm almost packed. Mm -hmm. um, we got like a couple minutes left, and I know Lovey's fat life is not. Um, on tonight but um what is one thing that you pack that you think is unique like something you pack for a cruise it's gotta be a cruise that you take that not everybody packs a water bottle you pack a water bottle like a metal water bottle like when you can refill yeah with ice and stuff you can fill with ice and stuff i think one thing one thing that oh I'll a power adapter like the the plug adapter, the the multiplier, the thing. We, we and I bought the well, I, for the last cruise for on the um, MSC is we bought the one that converts to the European, and that's a, that was a great thing because then we had the multi plug for the regular plug and we had the adapter for the other one, so we actually had 
the use of the two outlets with all that to plug in that really helped a lot with what we had to plug in stuff for charging and stuff adult coloring book well that's a good one adult coloring book my real captain's hat <laughs> it's the real I consider captain's hat. cruising but it's going to be exact ports as my last cruising celebration you consider cruising what are you thinking about going back on a cruise that goes to the exact same ports? Nothing wrong with that. Especially if you like the ports. I like to go back on um, a New England cruise again. You want to go on that, though, don't you? You've talked about wanting to go on a New England cruise. I honestly want to go in a car, drive around in a forest. <laughs> you want to go in a car and drive around a forest? Yeah, like... In New it, England? Yeah, that when the leaves are changing color. Oh, I thought you just meant any forest. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I think when it depends on who I'm traveling with and how long I'm traveling is the the shoe organizer that you put over the bathroom thing. Like with my sister and I, because we have a lot of like hygiene products, like hairspray and all that stuff. I think that's a really Didn't they ban those? No, not carnival. Mm. We used it on the glory. I didn't take it on MSC. I do not pack bingo stampers. Huh? <laughs> Mimi packs bingo stampers. And she forgets them in her room. <laughs> and then calls you and wakes you up and tells you to bring them to her. Something that I take that I, I know you are not driving <laughs> right now. I gotta stop typing and driving. <laughs> what? One thing that I have started doing is I wear fake. He can sorry. He considered the lanes cruise that you went on. Oh, okay. I yeah. see. I gotcha. Um, I started packing fake jewelry. Like I don't take my wedding rings and my don't engagement ring. Don't say that. Um, because. Yeah, Mimi. Um, yeah, Mimi almost lost her ring. Mimi has a honker, but uh, Mimi's not allowed to take her ring anymore either. She takes fake ring. She bought a fake ring, but I take fake jewelry. I don't take real diamonds and stuff. I just feel like that's, you know, just not safe to do. I don't like. I don't like to go in foreign countries anyway. With a lot of, I don't have a lot of bling, but you know I me. Mean? I don't know. I take fake rings. I think that's kind of unique. <laughs> But um, I guess it's time to close out, y'all. <laughs> is it? Is it? Yeah, it's eight oh two. But thank y'all so much for joining us. We will not be live next week because I'll be cruising and, and I'll be at trivia. And Hannah will be at trivia for her uh, work activity. And um, but we will be back the following week, and we can't wait to it's see. It's her turn. It. It's my trivia next time. Um, I'll, I'll do something fun. But it's my turn. We'd like to take turns, don't we, Hannah? It was part of our deal. That's part of our deal. <laughs> that was my offer I made her. But thank y'all so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Maybe next time in two weeks we'll be to 2,000 subscribers and we'll have a celebration live stream and some giveaways. That will be fun. If, if we make it to 2,000. There we go. If we make it to 2,000. Yes, we will do that. Not make it 2,000 the day before the live stream because I won't be prepared. But yeah, <laughs> that will be fun. So hopefully we'll get there and we'll celebrate with you all because you're the reason why we're, we're getting there. Mm -hmm. so, but Hannah, will you close it out, please? Thank you all for staying to the end. <laughs> Y'all the real MVPs. But we hope that you all stay safe out there, stay healthy, and don't forget to... Come on, I need you to hear hear the I'm, not, I'm reading something Meg wrote because I do the same thing. She says she takes dollar store sunglasses for onshore. I always take dollar store sunglasses on cruises. That's a good one. Don't forget to journey, journey on. on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks. Bye. 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 Bye, y'all. Bye. <laughs>